Welcome back to Weed Snob TV. I'm Masha, your host, and in today's episode, we're gonna learn how to roll a blunt. Now, because we're not allowed to sell tobacco products, and because I quit tobacco, we're gonna be rolling these blunts with the hemp wraps, which I'm a huge fan of. These juicy hemp wraps are really nice. They're thick, durable, they smell and taste great. And because we are not allowed to have open containers, we're gonna head off premises to roll this up. So, let's head on over there. So welcome to my place, and we're gonna have special guest, Bud Tender Washeki. Welcome to the show, Washeki. Hello, as she said, my name is Washeki, and I work at the Evergreen Market in Auburn, so feel free to come check us out. Yeah, I just recently interviewed Washeki for our blog, and I learned that she loves to roll blunts, so I knew that she was the perfect person to show us how to roll the perfect blunt. So let's go through the materials and tell them what we should get. All right, so to begin off, I have your standard Swisher Sweet here. I just want a simple one. You can do this with pretty much anything from white owls to hemp wraps, whatever you I please. I love the hemp wraps. I was just introduced to these guys and usually I don't even roll blunts, but these are magic. They're like bubble gum for um, the texture and so it's really durable. They taste great. They're slow burning, so. There's one Try thing, they do burn slower than a swisher, so if you want a nice slow smoke, hemp wraps are good for And go. no guts. No guts. And I got your standard grinder here to help me pour down my stuff. I have my splitter, and so this is the one step that you get to skip if you're gonna be using hemp wraps, cause I gotta split mine down the middle. So I usually do mine from the mouth end down. The mouth end on a social suite will be the smaller circular side, and the other end will be the flatter, wider side. So I usually just do it mouth end to opposite end. Sp stretch it open a bit and then pour your guts out and over here it's just a bowl with a little bit of water in it to help it not leave that tobacco like flavor on anything that you put your guts into so that's a little trick I usually use myself and for my flower I got Space Queen here by Artisan one of my personal favorite sativas so we're gonna enjoy this nice sunny day I'm using our adventure pack from the evergreen market so it's just ready to go I don't even have to grind it right now and I just like to pack it in there and then evenly distribute once I get a bunch of bud in there. And the good thing about hemp wraps is you do get a lot more space with hemp wraps than you do with a swisher. With a swisher, I would recommend probably about a gram or so of flour. You can be able to stretch it out and go do a gram and a half, or you can do a little bit smaller if you please and maybe do about a quarter of a gram, but I would recommend anything smaller than that, you probably wanna either split your swisher in half or roll it much thinner because you're simply not gonna be able to retain the same standard of size with a regular swisher and that much flour. And so before I put my flour inside of my blunt, I usually just like to kind of hold it mouth in on my left side because I'm right-handed and then just kind of lick down the edge not the edge that you would be stuffing it into, but the edge you'll be folding it over just to kind of help soften it up and also reduce the amount of licking you have to do afterwards. And so I simply place the end between my finger, my index finger and my middle finger to kind of hold it open and then simply hold the base with my thumb so it kind of sits like a little bowl. And then just kind of take your flour, even distribution is key here. So just kind of want to use your finger to help flatten out any air bubbles that may form as well as any clumps. Don't worry if you don't get it down perfectly, you know, practice is key as she said, so just feel free to work at it, it's fine. Definitely been learning as I go. And so after you've gotten all your flour evenly distributed in there, I just kind of take the swisher and hold it in between my fingers and just kind of fold it in on itself with the edges just to kind of help compact that flour in there and help it make it easier for it to close so it's not all big and fluffy on you. And so now here's the licking part. Now this is where I've noticed some people can get a little too excited with this. You don't need very much spit. All you need is the tip of your tongue. 
and so you kind of want to hold it tight with your fingers and push anything in that may be trying to work its way out and then simply lick it and as you pull out close over it with your upper lip and then fold over it with your finger to kind of he help keep that envelope tight so you just kind of want to go over your line edge then make sure it's closed because it shouldn't be open so you shouldn't see any gaps or anything like that and then now as she's doing you can either use a pencil or a key i personally i just use my fingernails so ladies if you're out there you already use your got pinky one going with one of these guys if you have a small enough pinky if you have a small enough <laughs> finger if you got small hands just let it go and just kind of push your weed down in there and then kind of flatten out on the edge if you need to, they can open up on the edges a little bit, so just kind of give it another little lick and a fold. So now personally, this is just a little trick that I learned when I was rolling. Um, I kind of push it down on the end that I plan on lighting it a little bit further in than on the end that's going to be going in my mouth and simply give it another little lick and kind of hold it down and compress it it simply gives you a nice easier base to light it with so then it just kind of lights evenly all around and so can i see you borrow your lighter now to help burn off any excess spit as well as to help close down your blunt just kind of take and dry it out with just the top of your flame of your lighter you don't have to burn it you shouldn't be able to even smell it or anything like that Whole while doing so, you do want to hold down that other end in which you pushed it down a little bit because it'll just help seal everything up. And so once you're done, your blunt's all nice and pretty, just sitting there and ready to go. Perfect. And so I'll give you this so you can be able to dry off as well. And then just like that, you're ready to go. Perfect. I love this. Thanks for checking. You're so very welcome. Glad you guys could join us this afternoon to learn to roll a blunt real quick. We'll see you guys back at the shop. But until then, our journey starts here. <laughs> Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode of How to Roll a Blunt. We hope that you learned something from myself and Washeki. And if you guys still have any questions, feel free to come on down to our knowledge bar, ask our bud tenders, or if you're still learning how to roll other things, we've got other episodes for you, like how to roll a joint. So thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode, let us know by giving us a thumbs up. If you want to see more episodes in the future, just subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we release a new one. And stay tuned for our next episode where we get to tour Fairwinds and find out about health and wellness in the cannabis market. Thanks for watching and remember, your journey starts here.